Welcome to Photoshop and today's quick tip of the day, which is the info palette. And it's the palette that nobody seems to ever want to use, but is truthfully one of the most important palettes you can use when toning a photograph. So that can be found under a window and then going down to info. So why do I think this is so important? Well, just because I have a calibrated monitor, it's difficult for me to be able to tell exactly what color and what value my image is without reading it specifically. Now, I know in a lot of circumstances what value something should be. In an image like this, what I'm really worried about is not losing detail. So in this area, it's hard to tell. Is this at 30%? Is this at 5%? And right down in here, I don't want this to go down to zero or something where I can't hold the detail when printed. So what we have over here are the two values and they're gonna help me out in reading that. So you can see this black I have right here, it's 13, 13, 15. Anytime you have a red, green, and blue, all of the same number, like 13, 13, 13, you know that is a true neutral gray. So this one has a little bit of color in it, but something that you obviously are not gonna be able to notice right away. And we're at a K value of 95%, which is really good, probably better than 100% black, which is just too black. It's black, black, black. So you'll notice if I come over here to this face, I can read this and I can see, oh, I'm at 25%. So I'm looking at this number that's gonna be right here. 25% that's going to be holding that value if this was to go down to like one or two percent this is going to show up as like a bright white spot on this image and it's going to look horrible the problem is a lot of times you can't tell where that value is so we go to this next image here and so this is a great image so this these are all images that I just found online and I'm just going through and reading them to see how these photographers tone these image so we notice we go in this background to really hold a value when printing you need to be at least around three percent so what's going to happen this is at two 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 looks like this is two we got four down in here we're going to hold three 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 Ooh, we hit a one somewhere around here that one's going to blow out and what it's going to show up as is like this white spot on the image and it's going to look horrible so the issue here is we want to get all the values at least at three so it has some color, some detail when printed, or we lose it all and take it out to zero so it shows up as, as pure white. In this image, it's not going to matter either way that we do that, but if we have this area like where we had that 1%, that's not going to show up well um, on this image. So this is where you're trying to read those values. And I'm going to go over this girl's face. So it's reading about 10%. She's pretty fair skinned. So I think in this image, actually, it's a little bit low. So I would probably try to get her the value of her skin tone up to maybe 13 to 15%, which is going to hold the detail and have a little bit more depth to the image. So I would say overall, this image is just a little bit too bright. So we have this image here, and it's been obviously grayed out. So we can come over here and read the values and you can see all these values are really soft and good so we're not losing any area so I'm just gonna come up here and purposely bump this up and you can see now up here we're starting to if I was to read this chain we're getting down into uh, like 1% where we're gonna have these big flat white spots in this chain and it's not gonna look as good so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to this image. So not only can you read values, but you can also read color. So you'll notice that the, my blue value is going to be really high in this image. And that's because there's a lot of blue. This is a cool image. So we've left this out. Now, if we don't want this to be cool, I'm going to try to get these red, green, and blue values to be the same because I know this is pretty much white. So I want to keep that. So I'm going to come over here and read this. Looks like we're at 10% there, 12% there. Her face value is at 24%. That looks pretty good. We'll come over here and read some of this stuff. So we've got 10% back here. I would probably tone this down just because it's non-important and it's very bright. So 
there's also a little bit of magenta in this image as well so we can tell in the green value that it's low compared to everything else so we're picking up some magenta in there as well so just as far as color correction this image is is off on traditional color now if you're purposely trying to make it blue magenta that's perfectly fine but this is also helping me read that color information to see how accurate it is so we'll come over here so I've got this picture this dog so you'll notice I'm at 4% that looks like one of the brightest areas so we're at 10 there so we've got some value there some value there so this image is gonna print really well because I'm holding that area if I come out here where it's perfectly white notice we're getting a zero if I come over here to that nose we're at about 95 percent so this is a well-toned image so that's how you use the info palette hopefully it was helpful and please give it a try um, any comments or questions you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe